Okay, so now that we have the model complete, let's actually select that blueprint and delete it. We don't need that anymore. And we're just going to go over how to uh, kind of manually optimize uh, a mesh here. Okay, and this is obviously super high poly. Uh, if we go into the properties here and into the summary information, you can see it's almost a quarter million. Uh, we have 217,000 faces on this with the turbo smooth, which is extremely high for something this simple. Okay, so we're going to need to cut this down uh, quite a bit. And that'll obviously uh, make it a lot easier to work with as well as a lot easier to unwrap. Okay, so we'll probably be aiming for maybe a tenth of this, maybe around 20, 25,000 polys at the most. Okay, so um, let's just grab the shield tail. We'll maybe start on the, the biggest piece. I'm just gonna hide everything else. Okay, and before you uh, ever collapse a turbo smooth down onto a mesh, you always wanna make sure that you have ice line display unchecked. If you were to collapse it with this on, it's gonna completely screw up the mesh. Okay, so always make sure you uncheck this uh, so you can see the actual faces before you collapse it. All right, so let's set it at three and turn off ice line display. And we'll just right click and convert to several poly. Okay, and it's a good idea to save before you do that because you won't be able to go back uh, to the, the original mesh uh, once that's collapsed. Okay, so um, this is gonna be a little bit tedious to do. Um, if you watched my Mac 10 tutorial from a few years ago, uh, I did the exact same process on that model where I went around and actually removed edges that uh, really weren't doing us any good. Okay. And there is a few ways to automate this process. Um, uh, the Polycuncher uh, plugin for Max has been around for a while, and uh, that's a really good one for uh, lowering the poly count on uh, models, especially if you're doing game stuff. Um, they've actually, I believe, built that into the newest version of Max. Uh, so if we go into the modify list here and uh, down to Pro Optimizer, I believe this is pretty much the, the poly, uh, Polycuncher uh, plugin. Okay, and how this works is you just hit calculate here and it goes to the mesh, reads it, and you can actually set a percentage of verts uh, to keep or the actual vertex count that you want. So if you actually start going down on this, you'll see um, it's starting to snap verts together and lower the poly count. Okay, and this works really good for certain models. Um, if you go down too low, it's obviously going to lose uh, some of the resolution, as you can see there on those top edges. Okay, and the reason why I'm not going to use this on uh, this particular model is um, just because I want to show you the manual technique, but also uh, you can see the geometry doesn't look very nice uh, once this is uh, collapsed down. We have a bunch of triangles and it looks uh, completely terrible here. So we can do a much cleaner job uh, by hand. It's going to take a little bit longer, but uh, the result will be a lot cleaner at the end. Okay, so let's just delete the modifier there. So we're back to our original mesh. And we'll just start uh, removing some of these edges that we don't need. Okay, and we do want to make sure that we maintain the smooth look, um, the turbo smooth look, even if we don't have the edges in there. So we want to be careful of uh, where we remove edge loops here. We're going to do it on uh, certain sections that don't really affect the shape or the uh, silhouette of the model here. Okay, we'll start maybe up on these edges here. Okay, you can see we have a ton around these borders here, and we don't really need any of these edges on the front or side here to uh, give us the look we need. All right. So let's just grab an edge here on the side maybe. I'm just gonna hit Z and I'll zoom on it so it's a little easier to uh, maneuver around. And we'll just hold down control and I'm just gonna go across here and select all these middle edges. Okay, you can also use the up and down uh, spinners here to uh, select the edges in a ring. I'm holding down control, but I'm just gonna do it manually. Okay, so let's maybe go right to about there. We'll grab this one as well. And we could probably get rid of maybe this one and this one. Okay, so we'll, we'll do about those and we're going to hit loop. Okay, and that's going to go all the way around the model here. Okay, and you can see we have uh, over 4,000 edges there that, that we really don't need to have. So let's hit control backspace and let me just turn off the edges first so we can see what this looks like. Okay, so we'll hit control backspace and take those out as well as the verts. And you can see that really didn't change the look at all around the outside here. Okay, so those edges are pretty much a waste uh, to have in there. All right, so we'll do the same thing on the front here. I'm just going to hit one of these, hit Z. And because the surface of this is pretty much completely flat, and it's a little bit uh, rolled over, but you won't really notice the difference, I'm just going to take out most of these edges here as well. Okay, so we'll just go across here, selecting one at a time. Okay, we're going to um, kind of stay away from anywhere that it actually rolls over uh, the edges here. Uh, we want to make sure that that's smooth, so we want to leave some geometry there. Okay, so we'll select something like that. Maybe let's do maybe one more, two more here. Okay, we'll do a loop. 
and that's going to go all the way around the front. And you can see we have another uh, 4,600 edges selected that we don't need, so we'll just hit Control Backspace and just uh, once in a while check to make sure that it actually looks okay after the edges are removed uh, without your wire on. And you can turn that on and off with F4. Okay. So we'll do the same thing on the back. I'm just going to grab an edge here and hit Z and rotate around the back. And we'll just uh, do a similar edge selection here. It's also a good idea to have ignore back facing on when you're doing this and to use the actual selection tool rather than the move tool so you don't actually move stuff around. Okay, so let's do a two about there, maybe one more. Loop that and we'll control backspace those ones out. And it looks like we have another one selected here that we don't want. So I'm going to hit control Z to undo that and just figure out where I selected that edge at. Okay, we actually accidentally selected one here that we don't want to remove, so I'm just going to hold down Alt and click on that one. Okay, so we just had these back ones selected, and we'll do another loop here. Okay, and we can take these ones out as well. So Control Backspace, hit F4, just check it out, make sure it looks okay, and we'll just keep moving. Okay, and we have a lot of edges uh, on these uh, rollovers here as well as on the inside here. We really don't need to have these as well. Okay, so I'm going to go uh, one or two over from where it actually transitions to this piece. And we'll just get these ones on the back. Okay, I'm gonna take quite a few of those out, loop them, and control backspace them. Go around the other side here, onto the back, and we'll do the exact same thing on the inside of this piece. So I should do the front, sorry. Okay, so grab an edge there in the front, and we'll just remove the same selection here. Okay, loop. And control backspace. And for the edges here, uh, we wanted to maintain uh, the smoothness, but we really don't need to have uh, this many edges. So I'm actually going to take out maybe every second one of these as well. Okay, so loop those and control backspace. And we'll do the exact same thing on the other edges here. Whoops. Okay, so every second one. And we probably don't need to have either of those ones, so we'll just loop that and control backspace that out. Just make sure everything looks okay. And same thing on the back side here. Okay, and on the inside, same process. And control backspace. Okay, and uh, we could probably move a few of those uh, later on. Um, another thing here, we have all these horizontal edges, and because the sides of the shield are completely straight, we really don't need to have uh, all these edges cutting across there. So we can take most of these out, which will cut the poly, gun, uh, poly count down significantly. Okay, so I'm going to go up at the top here, and let's maybe start uh, right about here. I'm just going to drag through some of these edges. Okay, and we'll just keep working our way down to the bottom here. Okay, so I'm just holding down control using my middle mouse button in to pan around and we'll just come down to the bottom here and we don't want to go all the way down to the bottom because these edge loops actually run around the corner here and uh, if we take those out it's going to make the corner here really fauceted okay so we're going to leave it a little bit up from the end and we'll also maybe leave just a few edges here so I'm just going to randomly deselect a couple of these edges okay so we'll skip a bunch here it doesn't matter if it's necessarily even Skip five or six and then just uh, deselect an edge. Okay, and then we'll do a loop. Okay, like that. You know, it's a little hard on the eyes here. Okay, and you can see uh, that we have 8,400 edges there selected. Okay, and those should go all the way around for you. So with the edge uh, edges turned off, I'm just gonna hit Control Backspace and see how it affects the shape. Okay, and once again, you can see there's not much difference there at all. Okay, so we'll go up to the top. And we can also take out a bunch of these loops here around the hole. Um, I'm going to leave this one here where you can see where the corner was. Okay, we don't want to affect these ones here, but we will take out uh, a few of these. Okay, so I'm just going to drag through those loops. Loop the selection and control backspace it out. Okay, and we'll check that out once again to make sure that we don't have any uh, weird shading problems. Okay, you can see there um, a slight change in the mesh. Okay, so I'm actually going to do Control Z to undo that. And we'll just uh, take a little bit less of a selection here. Okay, so I'm going to just take out maybe every second edge. Okay, 
And if we can optimize a little bit more later on, we will. Okay. Okay, let's maybe get rid of this one here. We don't really need that one. So I'm going to loop that and control backspace that one out. And we can also take out a few on the sides of the hole here. Um, because we have the other piece in there around the window, uh, you really won't be able to see these edges here. So we don't really need these uh, ones cutting across. All right, so let's take a few of these out. Let's just grab these ones maybe. Okay, I'm going to do a loop on those. And we'll do the same selection over here. Loop those. Okay, and once again, uh, try to avoid this loop here. Okay, on both sides. All right, just like that. Let's control backspace those out and see how it looks. And that looks pretty good. So we'll just continue to uh, do this until we get it down to a reasonable resolution. Okay, and we can also take out maybe a few here. Let's do this guy and this one. We'll loop those, control backspace. And I'll try to pick up the pace a little bit here. I know this is uh, quite tedious to watch. All right, so I'm going to zoom in on the corner here. Okay, and we have a lot of loops here that are going around that we don't really need. So I'm going to grab these ones here. Loop them. Okay, like that. And control backspace them out. Okay, we'll just check to make sure it looks okay. And it does. So we'll go around the back. Same thing over here. Grab a few of these edges here. Loop and control backspace. Okay, so now we can actually take out some of these vertical edges here. Um, we don't want to affect the smoothness of the top curve, so we don't want to take out a whole bunch, but we could probably take out maybe every second edge uh, along the front here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just uh, work from one side to the other. Okay, and we'll just maybe start in a little bit from the side here, maybe about here. And we'll just hold down control and maybe grab every second edge uh, going across. Okay, and I do want to avoid these ones here once again. Okay, so we'll skip this edge. And we'll just keep working over to the side. Okay, and just keep working over until we end up in pretty much the same uh, position as we have on the left side. Okay, we'll do a loop on those. Okay, and Let's actually hit Control Z for a second. I think I accidentally selected one on the other side there, so I'm just going to deselect that. Okay, well, I should deselect this one as well. Okay, and then we'll loop it. Okay, I just want to make sure that we stay away from the corners here so we don't uh, have any more fauceting. Okay, so that should go all the way down to the bottom. We'll do a similar thing up here on the top, starting on this edge here. We'll just grab every second one. Looks like I grabbed another one there, so deselect that one and then we'll do a loop. Okay, so we have all those edges going around the top and onto the back. So now we'll just take these out. Okay, so control backspace one more time and just check to make sure that uh, it didn't affect the model too much. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so now we'll just uh, remove the final few edges here. Okay, we could probably get rid of maybe a few more. Let's get rid of one of these inner ones here. Also going to get rid of one of these ones. Go around the back. Let's get rid of that guy and maybe those two. Go backspace those out. And we'll just look it over here and see if there's anything else we can remove. Okay, and just to avoid any other any uh, shitting problems, I'm actually going to leave pretty much these loops here. We could take a few of them out, but uh, just to be on the safe side, uh, let's leave them in for now. Okay, so that's uh, quite optimized, and it'll be a lot easier for us to unwrap and work with. Can maybe get rid of a few of these ones here. Let's just see. Oh, what the hell? Let's just leave them. 
Okay, so that's pretty much uh, optimized uh, for the shield. Let's unhide all. And now we'll just hide select it. Whoops. Okay, we can start working on another piece here. And these ones will be a little bit faster to do the uh, shield part would be the worst part. Okay, so let's grab this piece around the window. We'll hide unselect it. Turn off ice line display here. And we'll do two iterations and convert to edible poly. Okay, and same thing on this one. We don't need all these edges on the front or the sides. Okay, so we'll go in here and let's just uh, turn off our back facing. Maybe do this in the front view. Now let's do it in perspective so it's a little easier to see. Okay, so I'm just going to do the same process here. Grab these edges going around the front, loop them, control backspace them out. Same thing up here. Okay, loop and control backspace. And I'll try to go a little faster here. I know this is uh, extremely tedious. Okay, take those ones off. We don't need them. Same thing on the back. And on the inside here, get rid of these ones on the slope piece as well. Don't need really any of those. And we'll get rid of almost all the ones uh, across this middle section here. We don't need them. Okay, so get rid of those. Same thing ones over on this slope piece. Backspace those out. And that'll pretty much low uh, res or lower the resolution on those pieces. We could still get rid of some of the ones on the edges here. Okay, so I'm gonna hit one, or uh, zoom on one there. And we'll just take out maybe a second one here. A couple of these as well. Every second one there. Let's get rid of that one there. And we'll just loop those and control backspace them. Go around the back, same process here. Let's get rid of maybe those ones as well as these two. Do a loop on those, go backspace. Same thing on these underneath ones here. Let's get rid of those ones. We'll leave those three. We don't want to change it too much. Okay, I think that should be fine. Uh, we could take out some of the side ones again. So we'll just maybe drag through these ones here. Loop them, control backspace them. Same thing on this side. Loop and control backspace. Okay, and you see that virtually looks no different. Um, just to make sure that we have everything smooth, I think I'll leave the top ones uh, just because it's curved. And uh, I don't really think it'll be much uh, more trouble for us to unwrap than if we took some of them out. So let's just maybe leave the corners as well so we have a nice smooth shape. I don't want to uh, take it down too low or else it'll pretty much uh, make all of our previous work a waste. Okay, so let's get out of uh, our unhide all. Hide that piece, let's hide the shield piece. Uh, the glass we don't need to do anything with, we'll just hide that. Let's grab that bar on the back there, hide unselect it, turn off ice line display here, and collapse it down to edit poly with two iterations. And we'll just uh, zoom on one of these side edges here and get rid of most of these. Let me just turn on our back facing here. Okay, so we can pretty much get rid of all the side ones because they're not changing the shape. Okay, and those should loop all the way around for you. So get rid of those. Same thing goes with these ones going over the top here. Uh, none of these are really affecting the silhouette of the model, so we can actually dump all these going across the front. Okay, loop those and control backspace. And for the corners, let's maybe take out the center one uh, on each side here. Okay, so we'll loop those and control backspace them out. Right down at the bottom here, I'm just gonna click on one of those. And we don't really need to have this loop in here as well. Um, 
let's maybe leave it just so we don't uh, run into any shading errors. Okay, so that's uh, probably fine for this piece. Let's just check it out without the wire on so we can see. And that looks fine. So unhide all again. And let's move on to the next piece. Let's grab the handle, hide everything else, turn off ice line display, convert to edible poly. And for this one, because it's round, uh, we're gonna need to leave quite a few of the edges. Um, let's maybe get rid of a few of these ones here on the flat part. Just loop those edges there and remove them. Same thing with these ones down here. Loop those out. Okay, and um, we could probably get rid of a few of these as well. Let's maybe take these two. We'll leave maybe these, uh, that one there. Take out the middle one, maybe leave this one. And grab those two, loop them out. And maybe on the corners here, we could each uh, take out every second edge. Okay, so it's gonna work all the way down this ring, selecting every second edge. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one there. And we'll do a loop, turn off our shading, control backspace, see how that looks. Okay, that's good. Same thing up at the top. Start with uh, the bottom there and just work up to the top every second edge. And once again, I'm gonna leave those two. Okay, so control backspace those out, see how it looks. Okay, that looks fine. We have a little bit here where we took those edges out, a little bit of a shading uh, difference, but that's fine. Once the texture's on there, you won't even notice that. Okay, so that's a little bit lower res. We'll unhide all one more time. And let's start working on the bars. Okay, so grab those.